नमस्कार दिस इज मुदित कमलेश्वर एंड यू आर वाचिंग रेवल न्यूज इंडिया टुडे इज सेवेंथ मे द हिस्ट्री ऑफ दिस डेट इज वेरी ग्लोरियस ऑन दिस डेट द ग्रेट पर्सन एंड द ग्रेट पोएट हु रोट आवर नेशनल एंथम वॉज बॉर्न यस आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट श्री रविंद्रनाथ टैगोर ऑन द सेम डेट होल वर्ल्ड इज सेलिब्रेटिंग बुद्ध पूर्णिमा वी हैव वन स्पेशल रिपोर्ट ऑन दिस बट बिफोर डैट Let me start today's top headline from Bihar and regional news. One more death in Bihar due to coronavirus. Death toll rises to five. Total number of COVID-19 cases reached to 547 in Bihar. A 10 years old child found positive of COVID-19. Bihar government warns students teachers against fake app for study material. Railway Institute Sifting has reopened Gaya OTA Vaughn says Sangharsh Samiti convener. First ramik train from Alfuza leaves for Bihar. Chemical gas leakage reported at LZ Polymers Industry in RR Venkatapuram village Visakhapatnam 11 dead thousand fall six after gas leak. PM Modi takes a stock of situation assures all help to Andhra CM. Andhra CM YS Jagan Mohan Reddy announces 1 crore rupees compensation each to families of gas tragedy victims. President Ramnath Kovind condoles loss of lives in Andhra gas leak incident. Coronavirus cases in India cross 50,000 after doubling 11 days. Total number of cases rises to 52,952 with 1,783 fatalities. Karnataka government allows train for migrant workers after criticism. Those working selflessly in difficult times worthy of praise says PM Modi on Buddh Purnima. Delhi CM Arvind Kejriwal announced compensation of rupees 1 crore for the family of a Delhi police constable who died due to COVID-19. India donates Bangladesh 30,000 COVID-19 testing kits at 2.1 million. India expected to have highest birth since coronavirus COVID-19 declared as pandemic says UNICEF. We have some international news also. Have a look. Turkish gown supply responsible for unfit UK PPE order defense is stock as certified the US Supreme Court made history this week by allowing arguments to be held by a conference call for the first time but the court is not immune from everybody working from home problems including forgetting to mute microphones Kenya and Uganda hit by deadly flooding Disney announces Shanghai theme park to reopen next week it's first time since pandemic began after this all we cannot neglect to show you some news which are coming from sports and entertainment zone tennis star no can rafael nadal told to halt after prematurely returning to court practice webinar series helps special athletes to train effectively during lockdown match fixing mafia linked to india alleges akib javed rugby will likely this year says world rugby medical chief madonna says she had covid-19 while on madam x world tour when month post release dalton travels bula dunga bridges past record set by international pop icons arjun kapoor swara vaskar r madhavan and bone express their concern for the victims of gas leak in visakhapatnam chitrangna singh says casting coach exist in bollywood but nobody forces you as i have promised to show you our special report on sri rabindranath tagore and on buddh purnima so we are here with our special report have a look today is 159th birth anniversary of rabindranath tagore as we all are well acquainted by him he was a polymath poet musician artist and ayurveda researcher from indian subcontinent he composed more than 2000 songs and his work gitanjali and jeevan smriti are still cherished today ravindranath tagore is also known by his many sobriquet like guru deva kavi guru vishwa kavi and bard of bengal and many more tagore wrote two national anthems of india and bangladesh and inspired sri lanka also He was the first non-European to win a Nobel Literature Prize in 1913. He met a school from his Nobel Prize. He was a multi-talented personality with a great desire of learning new things. His contribution to Indian literature and music has been unforgettable. 
Buddha Purnima marks the birth, enlightenment, and death of Gautam Buddha. It is celebrated with lots of gusto in Buddhist family. It is celebrated especially in Sikkim, Ladakh, Arunachal Pradesh, Bodhgaya, and in various parts of North Bengal. The usual dress is pure white. It is also known as Vaishak Buddha Janti. At the last, from the whole family of Rebel News India, wishing you all happy Buddha Purnima. May Lord Buddha enlighten you all on the path of love, peace, and truth. Thanks for watching Rebel News India. Stay tuned for more updates. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.